But listen, though. <laughs> You yeah, and your podcast shit. You are listen, funny. man. I mean, I God I've been damn. trying to I've been trying to get at you for a hot minute, man, because you know you 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 jump from you 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 jump from YouTube. You 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 kind of left me on YouTube. Then you. What you mean I left you on YouTube? Yeah, you you, you <laughs> left me on YouTube. Everybody, don't worry about it. You're not the only one. I leave you, you on YouTube. Everybody went over. What to do you mean left you? Everybody went on TikTok, man. TikTok is Shit, yeah, yo, you you get you getting a piece of that. You getting a piece of I no, nah, not no, nah, not not like not like you women. You a trucker TikToker now too. Not 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 like you <laughs> Shit, not, that's bullshit because I see I see some no, I see some dude mm -mm. and some of these sexy ass dudes clean it up just like females. Trust me, I watch these nah, niggas. That, not nah Shit. man from from what some I see. Some of these seen. sexy motherfucking dudes. From what I seen, it's cleaning it up. You nah, hear me? Nah, from what I seen, I oh, seen shit. all y'all women this just one, jump on there. No, y'all jump on there, and y'all instantly got like fifty, no, like fifty no. thousand followers no. and all like that. I man. was following. I was following this one. He like, I he must be from Texas or somewhere, mm -hmm. but he he real like he cute now. He's sexy and he cute, but he be dance, he do comedy skits. And he just got like that charisma with him, and I was following him when he had like three hundred and something thousand followers, and that he up to a fucking million now. Oh uh, yeah, and he a dude. But, it's yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, it's but see, th but you you just said what it, you you just said what he was though. He has charisma. That's he what I'm does saying, so, comedy skits okay, and all so like has, that. But okay, I'm talking so about it has nothing to do with sex, like she, the sex of the person. Uh, okay. is the person. Okay, if you if you got to bring it, it like if, you got to bring the sex appeal. If you if you, you got to bring like the personality. If you say so, uh keeping it 100. If I'm you say you, so. You got to listen. I'm trying to tell you some good shit. No. Like I'm trying to give you some good shit. It don't matter. You got to bring it. Like you got to have it. If you don't I'm not saying whatever, but I'm just saying it don't matter. If you got it, you got it. No matter the sex. Keeping it 100, man. Last time we talked you was good at the company you're at. Now, uh -huh. now, I, I I see you over here jumped on Variant. What's 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 going on? What 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 made you jump on Variant of all companies? I mean, I seen Dollface doing good, and that's that's a cool friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And I mean, she's seeming to be happy. So, and I've been following her for a while. So I'm like, and she's been there for a while, so I'm like, she must be content because a lot of her story is similar to mine as far as, like, being unhappy with some of these companies. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? It don't hurt to give it a chance. I mean, the worst case scenario, I just say, fuck them and go to somewhere else. Because <laughs> the, the company I came from, they kept putting me in and out of trucks. I don't know what it is for companies that don't respect my work ethic, but they was just putting me in and out of trucks. I had my stuff in the truck. And they fucking giving the truck to somebody else with my shit. And I said, I, that's the last straw. Y'all not going to keep disrespecting me as hard as I bust my ass for y'all. And y'all going to sit here and can't even fucking keep me in a decent truck. Got me in and out of trucks every time you turn around. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Man. So hold on right quick. Because, you know, that's what we talked about before. That is what Epps did it in now Midway. I said, what the fuck? You know that I mean I don't y'all motherfuckers don't want me here. You should have never rehired me back. If there's something about me that you just don't like, don't fucking put me through the ups and downs. Because if you don't want me here, then and I don't see how you wouldn't want me here. I do everything y'all add, and I you know I bust my ass literally. Like at working for Midway, you work yourself into the fucking ground. Like at this company, I got so much more peace here. At this company, like I'm rested. Like I'm not fucking. Uh, but like they don't micromanage you, none of that shit. So I'm I'm at way more peace here at Variant than coming from Midway. That shit was a headache. You can make a whole lot of money there, but you gonna earn every goddamn dollar, every dollar. Now what was now? How long you been with Midway before you left? I wasn't trying to leave. Like I was there going on a year. Like like my thing is, people think I'm a company hopper, but I'm not. It's some shit I be going through that I don't post because I don't like to try to make people look bad. But I be putting up with a lot of shit off of these fucking companies trying to hold on. Well, but you... my thing is, you got to know your worth as a trucker and a person. And it's been so much disrespect and bullshit you're going to keep on putting up with before you just say, fuck it. Like, fuck it. 
You 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 like, need y'all ain't to put keep on me like this. You you need to put that out there. I mean, at least yeah, at man. least not at, at least not what like with the company. Like I understand, you know, you being with the company. Like if you with the company, then no, you 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 don't want it. You know the 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 shit that you're going through. You you know you you just put up with it until you find somewhere else that you're comfortable with. No, but I was really trying not to just because you know every company got shit with them. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's trucking, trucking, it's trucking. You put up with shit like no no trucking company is perfect. It's just not. So like I I have a lot of patience. I I'll put up with a lot of shit until I get to a point to where I just say I can't take it no more, and I just got I got fed up. Well, like, that's... what really got me fed up with them was when they gave the truck away with my stuff in it. I say, y'all bitches, so my shit come out missing, y'all gonna try to pull this shit while we not respond. And you're just responsible. You gave the truck away without telling me. Well, what what year What year was the truck? I mean, they got nice trucks. I mean, they be having, they got brand new runs coming in. They be having from, like, maybe 2016. Okay. So if that, was, if that was the case, then why the fuck they give your truck away? That's the thing. They had me in and out of trucks. They didn't want to. When I came back, you know, because I I went, I left and get did the surgery, so I was off mm. about almost two months, and they rehired me back. So when I got back, they didn't want to put me in a assigned truck. Wow. And shit. Even when I first started, they kept giving me fucked up trucks. The first truck they gave me fucking fumes, you know, uh, gas fumes was leaking into the truck. Mm-hmm. Shit. Another truck I had, the window wipe was wasn't working. And then they fucking had me uh, ride with no fucking window wipers. And I almost fucking had an accident because it came down real bad one day. So I'm like, y'all giving me fucked up trucks and they don't want to sign. Like, I can't do this shit no more. Why? I'm they, not about to put, kill myself for y'all sons yeah, of bitches. They, they, they putting your life in danger if they can't get they your don't give trust a fuck. together. That company is about the bottom dollar. They don't give a fuck about the drivers. They about making money. Fuck the drivers. Do what I say, or you can fucking bounce. We don't give a fuck about you. How did you How did you find Midway? Yeah, um, when I had did that live saying that I was taking time off the subscribers, mm-hmm. some a couple of them was like, "Hey, man, you and you do make a lot of." Aid. That's one good thing I can say. It's money there. Like you fucking can clean the fuck up at Midway, but you put up with a lot of shit for the money. Sometimes my money ain't worth it. So they so they comp so this this is the company because I I I seen them. A lot on on Facebook and Instagram, so that's that's basically where they came from. They actually, um, what is it? Ukraine, like a Ukraine, uh, like they Ukrainians, Black Ukraine ops. people own that company, and that they, they fucking filthy rich. Like he, he, that's not his only business. This dude dipping and dabbling in a lot of stuff. Like they making filthy money. Like, like they finally turned into a mega cur. I think they got over 120 trucks now. Black ops company. So they doing good. Yeah, they doing good. They just don't respect the driver. They about the dollar and not the driver. Wow. Is this the That's same? That's why co- I like this company. Is this the this same? company here. Is this the really same? Look like their drivers. Is is this the same company that uh that uh drove <laughs> for? I don't know. Did he? I'm not sure. You live in North Carolina. But this in Pineville. This company is in Pine, originate out of Pineville, North Carolina. I'm not sure. I I could have sworn that I was in one of his live feeds, and he was just talking about he was talking about a company. He could it it could have been Midway. Maybe it was one of the companies that reached out to him. I I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it's potential. Like Midway got a whole lot of potential if they if they can great fucking company. They're drivers. Wow. Is they just want to make money? It's about the bottom line dollar with that company. They don't even fucking show a pre. They don't throw appreciate it. at parties. They don't. You, you know how some companies give drivers bonuses or get. They don't do none of that shit. Mm-hmm. You just you just like a slave to them motherfuckers. Fuck. Get behind that wheel and deliver our motherfucking load, niggas. Like damn. <laughs> okay. Fuck. All right, got it. Just make sure you pay me, bitches. Oh my, my god. Right. So how? So you? So you? You was ten ninety nine. Uh, yeah. what's the truck that you was in? Was that an automatic or or uh or a stiff shift? I think it was. Nah, that's one thing I missed. I ain't gonna front. I missed that. All every last one I was either thirteen speed or ten speeds. But the new trucks they got coming in, they're automatic. Because of course, you know, you rarely find new trucks that's manual anymore. Right. Plus they plus they so. about to change. Plus they about to change their fleet over, and all like yeah, that. Yeah, they're uh that company like I say. 
like 80, 90 percent of their fleet is glider kits. Mm-hmm. So you know, glider kits are ELD exempt. Oh, so, so they you running, was they so you was run, so you was running paper laws <laughs> with this company. What? That's, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> That's what oh, I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. You I say you ain't thing. missing. You 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 missed that I right ain't. there, huh? You know what? No, let me and don't cut me off. Let me explain this. Shit. Go ahead. Go like, ahead. A lot I'm of not... truck drivers. A lot of truck drivers hate ELDs. They hate it with a passion because they feel like they're limited on how much money they can make, which is true. Mm-hmm. But if you get with a motherfucking company like Midway, them bitches will make you love an ELD. Nigga, I ain't never had so much peace since being with Variant. I said, oh, man, shit, I don't never want to leave you again, ELD. I love you, baby. Where you been all my life? Oh I my used to God. hate your ass, but I love you now. Midway will make you love ELD. So, shit, Midway. Baby. You take so, ELDs for granted. Go to Midway. So, you They'll say, so you say Midway. So, ELD. so, you say I'm, Midway. I'm so, you say Midway will, will, will try to, will try to, well, not force you because these are your CDLs, but they would try to entice you to move the freight if if I'm putting my wording together right. No, and not entice force you. No, 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 not entice force. Those bitches would try to talk shit. Like I said, when I say slave, they try to treat you like a true motherfucking Hebrew slave at that goddamn company. They do. And if you don't have a backbone, them bitches will kill you. They will try to fucking run you tired and all. Literally. Like, you fucking, they can know you done fucking ran, shit, 700 miles straight. Mm-hmm. Shit, some motherfuckers do 1,000 miles straight. And, oh, okay, after you finish that load, go pick this load up. Like, bitch, I didn't even lay down yet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I ain't even lay down yet. Wow. I'm, I'm being serious. This shit is sound dumb, but this is like, sir, no joke. No fucking joke. Like, they don't care. When I tell you they don't care about you as a person, they don't. They're about the money. So, how much? So, if this if so if it's about the money, and that's, and I'm thinking that's the re- plantation house, the fuck? Um, if it's about the money, and that's the only reason why you, you know, you stayed and try to, you know, try to push that's it not in. not the only reason I stayed. I was trying to be stable. Like, I don't like company hopping i really be trying to stick stuff out but it's with so much one person going to keep taking after a while how how much be hoping for a change and hoping that they would get better but they don't they get how, worse how much they was how much they was paying you was you getting percentage or you getting paper mile what Uh-oh. did you hear me well they they did do me well with my my pay because like i said i made i was up to 70 cents a mile Mm-hmm. I was up to 70 cents. So like I said, the money wasn't the problem. It's not the money. It's the respect. It wasn't the money because there's money there. You know, it's just, it's no respect. There's no respect. There's no respect. And fuck the money. I, if I had to choose between money and respect, give me my respect, motherfucker. I want respect. Respect me. So Midway, Midway. Respect ca- comes money. Midway Carriers. Where are they located at? In Pineville, Pineville, North Carolina. Pinesville, North Carolina. Like I said, you know, you know, every company got their favorites. So, I mean, if you're the favorite, then they might respect you a little more because, you know, you're their favorite. But if you just an average Schmo Joe, you fucking getting disrespected, dude. I guess I was an average Schmo Joe today, motherfucking ass. Maybe if you would have, maybe if you would have started promoting them, they, they probably would have gave you the respect. Because you didn't, you, you didn't promote them as much. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I've been over backwards. I've been through everybody, every company, every time I've been over backwards. For people, it backfires. That's why I'm tired. Fuck mm. I'm not. Like, I'm so sick of being over backwards for people who just want to backfire and stab me in the fucking back. Like, that's I'm why sick you. Of this shit. So that's why you don't. That that's why you don't do like you know like subtle promotions for companies anymore because I you know. you went heavy on uh on very well not as heavy i mean you just you just chronicling your journey with variant you you're not pushing variant as as if not you yet. was the you know, oh oh you said not yet not yet not yet yeah, i'm just trying to fill them out to make sure it's worth my time to even talk about all right so you got to make because i don't want nobody to come here if it's not good like i don't want to make nobody life miserable but i promote something i really wanted to be an honest 
you know, review. All right. Well, so, so far, so so far, I mean, what? Couple of couple of weeks in. What What do you think? Almost a month. Almost a month in. Like they love. They are about. They not nothing like Midway. Like this is a total transition. Like they really do care from day one. Mm-hmm. From what I've seen. For what I've seen, they are they they take the driver's opinions, and it's about the driver. They really try to do things that works for us, and they actually take our opinions and try to make changes if it's enough opinions to make the change. So they this company seems to be for the driver. It really it seems like it. E, e, even though they're a sister company of U.S. Express, I mean, so far they. The stuff that they got laid out is for the driver. And they even put money back in the driver's pockets, I guess, because of, like, the programs they got in place to where they have a nice safety record. So because they got a safety record, it's extra money back into the company to where they put that towards the driver's pockets, which is cool. Now, you like, ju- they got a lot of incentives and bonuses. Like, when you first come in, mm-hmm. you get a twenty, what is it, $2,500 bonus, and you get, you get paid, you get all of that on your first paycheck. You know how some companies break it up? No, they pay it all out to you the first pay. So you guarantee twenty eight hundred your first paycheck. You know your first week guaranteed. Mm-hmm. So you so you you jump from midway because of the respect, but you got with variant in yeah the respect and to get the respect, but you also took a you talk also took a pay cut, didn't you? Not much. Like I'm at sixty cent. Why well, is ten cent pay cut? But so far. So far, my pay may it maybe been a couple hundred dollar difference, maybe. Uh-huh. You just gotta work. Like I mean, now that I'm on the ELD, I just gotta manage my clock to where you still can make money on ELDs. ELDs don't fully stop you. All right. So how often how often do you get home now? Uh, every twelve days. Oh. But they got they have it to where at this company you don't have a real human dispatcher. A computer dispatches you. So they got something what's called uh, uh, like home time to where you can put in it. Like if you want to run through home, you know, a couple of times a week, you can put it in. The, it's called an optimizer. You can put it in the optimizer and it'll run you, you know, where you want to try to go to do either a 10 hour reset or a 34 hour reset. So you kind of got more control because you're not dealing with a human dispatch. You're dealing with a computer. Okay. Okay. Now you know uh, she's been getting hit with a whole lot of backlash, man. I mean, man, should I get hit with backlash? Fuck them whores, man. Fuck them. Fuck them. Keep hating on me. That makes me feel like I'm in the right direction, motherfucker. Keep hating. I want you to. When I'm not getting hate, I don't feel right. Cause now I feel like I'm not doing enough to provoke. You know, for like I'm not being debatable. She hate me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you better fucking have some tough skin and put a middle finger up to them motherfuckers, man. Fuck well, no, she she does. Ass she, bitches. Yeah, she does. She does. She uh she she clapped back. She clapped back all the time. Uh <laughs> she clapped back all the time, especially through TikTok. I think I think majority of I think the majority of the backlash come from TikTok though, because you know, again, TikTok, you know, have just I, I don't know. I don't know. As far as as far as the comments go, it's it's just a lot of kids and a lot of well, a lot of non drivers and a lot of people that think they know it all in that shit. Well, I know when I went when I went to orientation, her name kept coming up heavy and it kept coming up in a good way, like they was praising her. Mm-hmm. And you know people as a human, they automatically get envious and jealous. Like, man, who the fuck this bitch? Like, you know people, that's normal. Mm-hmm. So I mean, she's they. It's almost like she's looking like she's the favorite, and a lot of people that probably ain't doing too well at the company or want to be in her status, they jealous. So that's normal. Like she's on the right track, and she need to stay focused and stop worrying about these motherfuckers. She doing. I mean, that's what that's what comes with the territory of success. That's part of success. That count. You can't avoid that. You cannot. That's what's up. You can't avoid man. it. So how how's the uh? How's post surgery coming? I I, I oh, see great. I, I I see you TikToking <laughs> over there. How, how's post surgery coming? <laughs> shit, I don't be doing what I don't be doing what I really want to do. I mean, shit, I'm trying to keep it modest. Like I'm trying to be modest with it, but I still have to wear my um body shaper because they say it can take up to a year for all the swelling to completely stop. And sometimes when I be going without wearing my body shaper, I can feel my stomach kind of deforming a little because of the swelling 
So I still have to make sure that I wear my shapers so that I'm getting the full benefits of this surgery. How's now since you've been on now, you, you know, you, 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 did, you, you still doing content for multiple platforms. Uh, you, you just now got on TikTok. But you've been on. Oh, I have. I've been on since last year. Yeah, you, I've been on this since Family Dollar. Yeah, so really, you, I've been on there almost two years now. Yeah, you've been on, but you know, you you getting a little heavy, at, at least from where I <laughs> from where I sit. You know what I'm saying? At least from where yeah. I sit. So, what do you? How do you feel? Uh, how, how do you feel about both platforms now, YouTube and and TikTok? I mean, I still, you still, do, you know, you still do your YouTube, you know, you still stay 100 on YouTube because that's where, you know, that's where you came from. But, you know, when you jumped on TikTok, you got an explosion of followers over there, too, and looked like you got more of an engagement, you know. My family, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do over there. Hold on. What'd you say now? It, you know what? I wanted to talk about it, too. I said I wanted to talk about trying to. Like, okay, like, let's just say people trying to grow, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes be careful what you ask for, because once you arrive on the scene, that is a total different feeling than when you wasn't. Mm -hmm. And it, it's something that you have to get used to, because you go from not being noticed, you know, people maybe not showing as much love, and now everywhere you go, people showing you mad love. Like, you, like it's like you famous, like, you know, a small a small scale famous mm -hmm. and I'm trying to, I'm trying to really learn how to take it all in. Cause honestly, I'm not used, to, I'm not used to that. So me, me as a person, I'm humble. Like I'm a very humble person. I never want to feel like people put me on a pedestal because I don't want to be on a pedestal. But when you touch so many lives and change so many lives, people put you on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to learn how to accept, uh, accept the attention because I'm not used to this, so it really takes some getting used to. I'm not going to front. Uh, and that's and that's over on TikTok, right? No, that's oh, you 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 breaking up? Period. You, like I you breaking been getting noticed since YouTube. You breaking? But now up. that TikTok, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Go hello, ahead. Hello, hello. Yeah, Mike hello. one check 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 check, check. one two. Yeah, I mean I've been getting noticed since. <laughs> I've been getting noticed since YouTube, but now that you add on TikTok and Instagram, it's like I'm really out there. I mean, everywhere I go, not mm -hmm. even just in trucking. Like I went to enroll my son in school, and this this single father noticed me. Mm. He wasn't a truck driver. Just, even when I go to the supermarket, like I went to Lowe's one time, a couple like, "Oh, you uh, you you keeping it 100, ain't you?" I said, "Damn, mm. they got nigga in Lowe's." <laughs> I said, "Wow!" I said, oh, man. "People want to take pictures with me before you know it. People going to want to start wanting autographs." Damn it, man! I, you know, growing, I, like, I, you know, I just I, use, I need to get used to it. I, I just use TikTok for cross promotion, though. That's about it. I'm, I'm, even though I'm, I'm, I'm still feeling some kind of way about YouTube, but everybody knows that YouTube is is. YouTube, it is what it is with YouTube. Number one, it's hard to it's hard to generate, you know what I'm saying, organic uh uh you know followers or subscription versus no, it's not. Uh, yes it is. But you anyway, gotta be you gotta be different. You gotta be different, love. You gotta uh, you gotta bring that authentication out. Man, you don't wanna be like nobody else. Man, I, it's a good thing that I am so different. But me personally, exactly. I, I really don't give you know, I don't I don't really don't give two shits about YouTube. You know, everybody keeps saying, you know, YouTube is this, that, and the third. I'm like, yo, I just do this because I like it. That's about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not doing this for the money. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, not doing this for the money. But um I, I do this, I do this because I like it, man. But uh but like I said, I just use YouTube and TikTok for cross promotion. You know, I get you can it, use all of them. All of them is cross promotion. Honestly, oh, you yeah. cross promote your TikTok on YouTube, cross promote your YouTube on like all that shit is promotion mm -hmm. tools. All of it. That's what's up, man. That's why I do it the way I do. Well, that's what's up, man. Well, man. Well, I'm glad that you're back, man. You you know, before we get off of oh. here, make sure you you know you leave your contact number. At least one that works. Yeah, we need to talk offline. Uh, yeah. A lockout, man. Like, yeah, that
We we talked about uh we we talked about what's your name? What the fuck? We talked about uh shit, I, hope, I hope Migway don't watch this shit. Yeah. They were like, Oh, this bitch. Oh, oh this bitch will fucking talk did you, shit. Did you, about, huh? did you see did did you see the interview that I had with Shakina and, and uh CR Shakina? England? Did you see yeah, that? Send it to me. Yeah, I sent you it to you. It to me. I sent it to you. Oh, I gotta look for it. What yeah, it's it's again? it's in your it's in your DM on Instagram. It's so many DM messages. I don't keep up with that shit. Oh I don't well, keep then up. you got how many you, fucking you, messages you, I got. I tell you what, so you, come on, man. you you're gonna have to send me your send me the phone number and I'll send <laughs> I'll test it over to you, but.